Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, Ikamalang Tembo Zintle, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please do like and subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how much you can expect to be paid in South Africa as a trainee accountant. And hopefully this information can help you to plan better as you go into articles or as you progress in your articles. So yes, I'm talking all things money, money, money. And I generally love money. I love money, Shem. And I don't like to be associated with people who don't like money. I wonder about the writing money is the root of all evil. As a Chumizana is. They can never be my friends. Never. <laughs> anyway, I've got my phone here. And I've jotted down some points because I didn't want to forget. I have a problem. I forget things, guys. Yo. Um, so, I, so the amounts that I'm going to be talking about today are gross amounts. And they are on average. They are also based on my experience, my observation, and also my research. So it could be different from your observation. So as a first year without CTA, you can expect to be paid between 9K and 12K. Though there are firms that pay less than 9K and there are firms that pay more than 12K. When I was doing my articles, I was paid 8,000 rand. <laughs> but at that time, I didn't even have my degree. So 8K was honestly okay, though I was struggling. With CTA, you can expect to be paid anything from 12K to 14K. And when you get your ITC results, you can expect a jump of about 3,000 rand. So if you were being paid 14K on the upper hand, then you can expect to get about 17,000 rand with um, ITC. So then you move on to your second year of articles. And if you still don't have your CTA then, so you can expect an adjustment to your salary, which is basically um, cost of living. Some firms do performance-based adjustments. So it really depends per firm. Some firms are generous, guys. They can give you like a good bump, but really it depends. But you should expect like a cost of living adjustment. And if you do have your CTA and ITC, you can expect to be paid around about 19 to 21K. Then if you move on to your third year of articles, without CTA again, still the adjustment will be either performance-based or just the cost of living adjustment. And for um, people with APC at that time, they can expect to be paid between 21K and 25,000 rand. It could be more. I've met people who are paid more than 25K. So yes, it really does depend per firm. And also I think it does depend per city, um, like where you are based in South Africa. I do feel like people in Johannesburg are paid better than people in other cities. Though I believe that Cape Town specifically, they, you, they should be paid more because it is so expensive to live in Cape Town. I did my articles both in Johannesburg and Cape Town, and I can tell you that renting in Cape Town is so expensive compared to Johannesburg. I mean, you can find um, very nice apartments in Johannesburg that are way cheaper than Cape Town. Renting a two-bedroom apartment in Cape Town. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, guys, it's a lot of money. Also, as a trainee accountant, you always want to try to be as close to the office as possible. And depending on where your office is based, I mean, the rent can be expensive. Like when I was in Cape Town, my office was in Century City. So I used to stay closer to Century City. And if you know Cape Town, it is expensive to live in Century City or closer to Century City. But when I was in Johannesburg, the firm that I trained with was in Bedford View. Bedford View is also a bit, you know, expensive, but you can find areas that are very affordable. Um, there I used to stay a little bit further from the office. I was in Kempton Park, but it was not like a bad drive. I think it used to take about 20 minutes with no traffic to get to office. Why is it 20 minutes? I think so. 20, 30 minutes to get to office. Um, so yeah, that's what you can expect to be paid. Um, as a trainee accountant, you shouldn't be looking too much into the salary. Um, because 
what you really want to gain is the experience and he signed off i do understand that some people actually support their families with this salary so yeah i do feel that you should be compensated for the amount of work that you're doing but don't expect too much you know also you need to plan better you need to budget um, and as your salary increases, you shouldn't change your lifestyle because, hey, Sana, things are increasing in general. Um, yeah. Also, you should try and get like a second um, a side hustle. I had a side hustle when I was doing training. I was a tutor. Yes, there isn't much time to actually tutor um, or to have a side hustle. So when I was doing my first year of articles in 2018, I didn't have time to do that because I was studying. But in 2019, I started tutoring and I used to make extra income over the weekends when I was not working. So perhaps that's something that you can look into because the firms do allow you to do that as long as it doesn't interfere with your work. Um, but please do look into what you can do when you are in that contract because i know it differs per firm there are limitations you know but i do believe that you can tutor or you can sell stuff you know just to make extra cash i used to do that and it used to help me so um yeah and also overtime is paid by firms so when you are doing articles you are bound to work overtime so you do make extra cash like that but as for uzinke um i love money guys but when it comes to overtime i just never wanted to be paid in cash i wanted the days off for personal reasons i just never wanted the money also if you are lucky enough to be on away jobs i used to be on away jobs then you get to make extra income by being away because you get paid on a daily basis a rate on a daily basis for being outside of your comfort zone or of your home so that used to help me so yeah that's how much you would expect to be paid um but as soon as you qualify it it, it does jump um quite a bit so that's why i'm saying like in your articles you should really focus on getting your articles done and qualifying and passing your board exams um then money is necessary because I don't think you'll ever be satisfied <laughs> with the amount of money that you are paid in articles. What about bonus in articles? You see now, a bonus is not something that you can um, average because it's really based on the firm and how that business is doing. It's based on individual performance as well. So I don't know if you can actually put an average into it. There are firms that don't pay bonuses at all. And I find those firms wild. Like Sana, even if the business is doing great, even if your trainees are performing, nothing. Hi. Then there are firms that actually pay bonuses, but also it's based on their discussion. So you call it's not a guarantee. And also it's based on the performance, like your individual performance. Um I worked for a firm where e, e bonus was actually based on performance of the business as well as of the trainees. In that firm for 18 months i was there for 18 months i don't remember a single person getting a bonus um and i used to think but yeah, you know i'm trying to be people are not performing or the business is not performing but it was worrying 18 months i was in the firm and um <laughs> nobody got a bonus so like the business is not performing but they were getting clients they were charging more Anyway, our business jump now. Then I worked for a firm where they used to actually pay us bonus. It was at their discretion. It was based on performance, but they used to give us something. Yeah, I believe that most people used to get the bonus. I'm going to say most because I don't know if everybody actually got the bonus as it was based on performance. Um, also, there there was a second bonus, guys. Yeah, even more much. Yes, I didn't even know with Bella bonus yeah, icon until I heard like Galamachi increases people getting envelopes. And I'm like... Hey, whoa, Johnny Sana. And I worked so hard that year that the following year, I actually got the second bonus as well. So some firms do pay for bonuses, others don't. So there's never, there's, n I don't think you can actually put an average into it in terms of how much you can expect. Also, it's a percentage of your salary as well. 
so it, it really depends anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you have anything that you'd like me to cover do let me know i'll gladly do that other than that stay blessed have a lovely day